Hello and welcome back to Rick's Flicks. From time to time on this channel, we like to take one attraction and pit it against another attraction, the Versus series. <laughs> Today we're pitting two classic attractions, Peter Pan, an opening day attraction at Magic Kingdom versus E.T., an opening day attraction at Universal Studios. <laughs> oh no, Let let's the get- the battle begin. Oh, let's get to it. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish theme park videos on this channel all the time, so hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. So last night we went to the Magic Kingdom, rode Peter Pan. We sure did. And today, this morning, we just got off of E.T. Adventure. Yes. So we can give a comprehensive, honest comparison. Back to back. Back to back, yeah. <laughs> the last two rides we ever rode on. Exactly. Uh, so we're gonna start with round one is gonna be the queue. So one of the most renowned queues in the area is the Peter Pan queue. We were on the ride last night, went through the queue, and Peter Pan is kind of famous for this queue. Absolutely. It, it, it tells a story from start to finish, and um, from the, the kids' room all the way through um, the entire house, really. Yeah, you kind of so, start out on the front porch, the front of the house. Yeah, and you see Nana and all that good stuff. In fact, this queue was kind of redone recently, but maybe not recently. I mean, maybe a year or two. Yeah. Oh, I think within the last couple years. It's well, when you get older, time flies, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> Um, it's an interactive queue too. There's uh, several parts where you can interact either with um, making lights turn on and off and yep. shadows. Um, and shadows and then making the bells ring and things like that. So it's a it's a really fun interactive queue. So we basically we entered a darling's home, uh, primarily the bedrooms of the children. Right, exactly. And that's where all of the trouble with Tinkerbell ensues. Yeah, Tinkerbell will come in one of the rooms. She'll shake around the globe. She'll make the little boat rock back and forth. She'll like fly inside the chest and get locked in there, right? And try to get out. Exactly. It's very adorable. And then the next bedroom we have the little, uh, that's the shadows where you can interact with bells and butterflies and things like that will pop up as shadows. But you can actually use your hand and ring the bells or your head. Yep, I was I'm jumping. I'm tall enough I can just like kind of bang it with my head. <laughs> and I was jumping. It was cute. It's a lot of fun. Um, people in line really seem to enjoy it as well. Yes. So it's entertaining. You might be in line for a while, but it's entertaining. Now the queue for E.T., not as famous, not as renowned for everything, but there's one thing it's kind of famous for. What is that, Nikki? The scent. The scent. The smell of the E.T. queue. In fact, I think there's candles out. Now, if you know of the website, I'm going to look it up and see if I can find the website that sells the scented candles, the theme park scented candles. But if you know of a website, just drop in the comments below so we all know where to get an E.T. scented candle. <laughs> and it's kind of funny, even during Halloween Horror Nights, when you walk around the back, you can smell it around the back outside of the building. It's really great. It smells like the E.T. queue, that forest smell. E exactly. Which is kind of the main feature of this queue is the big trees, the forest. Are the redwoods, aren't they? Yes, the redwoods. And you're then from, you're, you're from California. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then you've got the speak and spell, and then you have oh, the classic where ET's trying to phone home. Exactly. Classic scene from the movie um, that's in there. And what I just found out today, I've never noticed, believe this or not, the astronauts at the beginning of the queue on the right side. Yes, it depends on how quickly you get through that yeah. queue, whether you see it or not. First time I've ever seen it. That's funny. And, and then, then also Botanicus. Yeah, Is he that his pops name? up. Yep. He pops up with some steam. Yeah. To kind of give you some insight as to what's going to happen like in the ride. Exactly. Because he's not in the movie. No. So with all that said, the winner of round one, Battle of the Cues. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the queue is pretty awesome in there. It is. It's very interactive and very entertaining. So, so there you go. A point to the flight of Peter Pan in this battle. Yep. The first point of the game. <laughs> On to round two. How easy is it to get on each ride? That's right. How long are you going to have to wait without an express pass or a fast pass to get on the ride? Which one's better? Who's going to win this round? Round two. Okay, hey, here we go. Now, as far as ease of entry to get onto the rides, yeah. Peter Pan, one of the hardest fast passes to get. At Disney, yes, definitely. At Magic Kingdom. At Magic Kingdom. Um, the standby wait, always one of the longest. Yeah. Not quite as long as uh, the mine train. Probably second longest in the park, though. 
Yeah, and we when we got in line, it was around five, and it took us about 85 minutes to get through. Was it? Yeah. Well, I, I think it was longer than that. We got in, it said 85 minutes, and then oh, when we were in the true. queue, I checked the app, it said 105, it bumped up. Yeah, that, that is true. Was, I, it I felt think it was longer, longer than that. Exactly. So, so while the queue was super entertaining. Which is a good thing, because it's going to be in there for a while. It needs to be. Um, we were in line for what felt like a really a long, long time. time, like not moving. Mm -hmm. So. so ease of entry, ease to get on that ride, ooh, scores very low. Yeah. Now ET on the other hand, yep. while it can get busy, uh, not quite as busy as the flight of Peter Pan. Right, now if you time it right, when it first opened 10 at 10 o'clock, head right over there walk right on. away, you just walk right on. And on slower days, it is a really short way to get on to ET. Yeah. For round two, the point has to go to ET. Definitely. ET ties it up. <laughs> one to one in this battle. On to round three, overall theming. So this is Q and in ride. That's right. So with Peter Pan, it's very true to the animated movie, uh, both the Q and the actual ride. When you're going through in your little sailboat, yeah. flying through the air, um, you get to see London. The way they've had it painted it so that it kind of glows yeah. You know, in that black light, um, so it's really bright, and it definitely tells a story from start to finish. Yes, you go Even through like through all the, the ride. yeah, you go through all the major scenes that you're familiar with the Peter yeah, Pan. Yeah, exactly. You know, you've got the uh, the mermaid scene. You got the uh, the Indians and everything. You got Mr. Smeed, the alligator or the crocodile, I should say. You know, <laughs> trying to get Captain Hook. You got Wendy and the boys. You've got um, you know Peter Pan dueling Captain Hook. So everything you know about Peter Pan is in that ride. So the theming is top notch. Absolutely. With the ET Adventure attraction, it's a little different with the theming. Let me kind of explain this. So with ET, like the queue was very good. It's some classic points of yes. the movie, you know, right. particularly the astronauts, and then also um, you know the the phone home scene. Yeah. Uh, and the ride starts out very true to the movie. You've got the police chasing you, you got the little vans and everything. So, but then it kind of takes a turn into a unique experience away from the movies. Right, it almost extends out the storyline from the movie. Right. Uh, so we get to visit E.T.'s home world, the Green Planet, as he's trying to save it. But that really doesn't go with the movies, kind of what you're used to, what you would expect from E.T. Right. It is neat seeing the Green Planet and some of the other extraterrestrial aliens yeah that live there that live with yeah probably the best thing about the ride as far as theming is concerned is the very end when et is there to say goodbye to you that's right when et says your name mm -hmm. you know it's part of it again an interactive experience yeah on that ride so that's kind of a unique fun aspect that, is. that i like The point for round three, I would say, I think we're in agreement. Yeah. Goes to Peter Pan. Yep. Mainly because what it's true to what you expect from Peter Pan. Sure. It's close though. It's yeah, both so close. Are, both are awesome. So this is a tough round for me. It's, it's a very close round, but I believe the point will go to Peter Pan, yep. which now takes the lead two to one over ET. Wow. Round four, let's talk about the ride vehicles. Well, before we get to the ride vehicles, I guess we should mention these are two good rides to compare because of the track system. Yeah, it's very similar. They're both like overhead tracks, like you're flying, so. Yeah. A good comparison, but specifically the vehicles, the ride vehicles, for Peter Pan, you're on a ship. Yes, very nostalgic pulling too. Like mm -hmm. you want to be on Captain Hook's ship, pirate ship. It's very pleasing to the eye. It's a very pretty vehicle. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. that, that Pirate ship is awesome. Yeah, multiple colors and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when it comes to the ET ride vehicle, maybe not as comfortable. Definitely not as pretty. But I feel like you feel more a part of the story than maybe Peter Pan. I love the I love the handlebars. It's like me, you're on the bike. Exactly. Me too. And the cool thing is, you are there's a basket in the front. Yes. So E.T. is in the basket as well. And he pops up. Up and down. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so I think E.T. kind of is a tiny bit, just a tiny bit more immersive than the Peter Pan one. I would agree with that. So the point for round four, again, very close. Yes. The point for round four, E.T. Adventure. Just squeaks past. 
So now, hey, it's tied up now, two to two. It is, it is. And now on to round five to see if we can break this tie. Oh no. <laughs> round five will be overall ride enjoyment. How do you feel about Peter Pan, Nikki? Is it enjoyable ride? Yes. It, it is. It really is. It pulls that nostalgia factor really strong for me, both from my own childhood and my daughter's um, being a parent. So from both aspects of that side of things, it really, it's an enjoyable ride. It's nice and smooth. Exactly. I was going to um, say that. You took the words out of my mouth. I was going to say it was smooth. Yeah. It, you know, the flight of um, from one scene to the next is pretty seamless. The soundtrack that's used. Yes. The soundtrack. With the little scenes and exactly, everything. Exactly. And all of the, um, the, I guess all the conversations that the characters are having yes. too, I think um, really adds to that overall enjoyment. True. Now, as far as the ET ride enjoyment, same thing. It's a really smooth ride. Yeah. The very beginning of the ride, seeing all the scenes we're familiar with, very enjoyable. Yes, absolutely. And again, you're, it's very immersive. It's very, it feels like you're part of the story. Yes. Seeing ET is awesome. Always. Um, the soundtrack also very good in this. Yes, and again, the sense of smell, you know, and even nostalgia from this story is is it has a strong pull for me as well. Yeah, yeah. you know, for, I if mean, you've been on this ride a lot, yes, you'll have nostalgia for it. Well, and even from the movie, yeah, you know, from when I saw it when I was younger, you know, mm -hmm. definitely. And again, just have an ET say your name. That's awesome in itself. Exactly, very enjoyable. So, the point for round five, right enjoyment goes to who? For me, Peter Pan. I'm going to say E.T. Don't kill me because I said Peter Pan, but I love it. Oh my God. So that makes the score, it's still tied. Yes. So it's three to three. It is. We split the point for round five. Oh no. <laughs> okay, since we have it all tied up, let me put it to you this way. If both attractions were side by side okay. with the same wait time, which one would you choose? Uh, I choose Peter Pan. Okay, so it's four to three. Okay. I make it four, am I keeping up with the math? <laughs> um, for me, if it was side by side and the wait time was equal, I would choose ET. Oh no! So that's another point. So what are we, four to four? Yes. Thing is though that it's never gonna be the same well that's okay now that's how we're gonna break the tie okay sometimes I would turn to my IG yeah followers but not this time <laughs> um, given the actual circumstances of yes. you're looking at you know a 10 minute wait for ET versus 85 minute wait for Peter Pan right which ride would you prefer then ET I choose ET as well so yeah. therefore I think we found our winner <laughs> The winner is E.T. All right. Wow, that was crazy. Yeah, I don't think we've ever had such a difficult time trying to decide a winner. Well, in the wrestling business, that's known as a dusty finish. <laughs> it, it was dusty. Yeah, exactly. And I'm sure we're gonna get plenty of people uh, disagreeing with us. It was so close. Yeah. It really should have been a tie. Really, I mean, because they're both awesome rides in their own respect. But right? I've never had a tie in a versus. No. <laughs> I mean, that'd be controversy as well. It'd be like people be saying, "I'm like, I'm too scared to pick a winner." <laughs> well, with this one. <laughs> there, yeah, you have a winner. Winner, your ET, ET's your winner. No matter what, now it holds the title. I tell you what, I'm going to do though. I'll put a poll up. I'll let you guys vote on YouTube here to pick a winner for yourself. Exactly. And really, there's no wrong answer. No, no wrong answer. <laughs> Obviously, we had a lot of difficulty with our answers. Also, in the comments below, let me know which one is your favorite, which one you would prefer. Yeah. And as always, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks. And, and now, now, it's time, time to, to relax. relax. It's that time. Time to give my patrons some love. Give them a shout out. First up, here's my executive producers. Thank you so much, Candace McBride, Randall Rittenberry, Hank Spaulding, Andrew Bundle, U.S. Storm Shelters, Joshua Rush, Brian Jenkins, The Luke Family, Hannah Jo Smithhart, Catherine and Daddy Dave, Wayne Fitzpatrick, Elizabeth McClutchney, Brett and Carla W., Matthew Sargent, Tom Elridge, The A-Team, Allie and AJ, Chad and Michelle, Kayla Cox, Warren and Don Kulu, Neil Whitaker, Anita and Jim, Harry Beadle, Angelina Twazer, Sonia Tucci, Nick Hahn, and Brandon Anders. 
I would also like to thank our regular Patreon producers, Shane Morrow, The Perez Family, Desi, Adam Kazanecki, Armando Covelli, John Andine, Sherry South, TJ and Shannon, Will Antico, Brett and Mindy West, Ben Van Litt, Andreas Martinez, Craig Conley, James Conley, Shania Rasman, The Spencer Family, Jose Reyes, Hothrone, Jeffrey and Mugga, Cameron Alder, Nicole Bergstein, Matt Weaver, Rob Racer 66, Ash Gothier, Ricardo Justin, Josh Grabiak, Kiss My, John Gosby, and Stephen Brodude. 